Hello and welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows and movies. Today, we're going to be talking WandaVision. So, spoiler alert if you're not caught up and you're catching this before the release of episode 7, I suggest you back up. I'm not going to do a breakdown, but I will definitely be talking about the episode. So consider that your warning. But before we get into talking Wanda, if you would be so kind and you enjoy the content, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon notifications uh, there. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get into talking Wanda. I don't know if that has the same ringtone as talking dead or talking. What was the other one? The, the, the Talking Dead and there was Walking Dead or something. I don't know. There was those after shows or after thrones or something like that too. So maybe it doesn't have that, that same ring to it, right? Walk, you know, Talking Wanda. But what a ride has been, right? From before any episode even aired, the negative, I don't know about publicity because I don't think there was negative publicity on it. But there was definitely mixed reactions to whether it was good at, or whether it was needed, whether they did a good thing with Wanda and Vision, given that Vision had died. I mean, there was just so many channels on YouTube and blog posts and even Reddit, subreddit groups where the negative conversation that they were having as, oh, it's going to be silly, or they had like a political opinion as to why they were created. Oh, this is just another thing to put, a, you know, whatever side you stand on. I'm not here to argue whether, you, you know, either side, but that's where the conversation led. It's a lot of YouTube channels that I would see or, and, and that are out there were straight out saying, oh, I'm not gonna invest any time in watching it. I know it's gonna be dumb. I know, you know, it's not gonna fit in. And all this negative hoop to ha or, you know, just negative stuff that they were talking about, not even giving it a chance. And now fast forward to the hype. Not, not even, I, yeah, the, I'm gonna say the hype, but let's call it well-deserved hype. This show is number one, not in America, not in America and Europe, in the world. Wherever this show is being seen, it's just skyrocketing to number one. So from those humble beginnings to, and if you call any Marvel project those humble beginnings, but I call them humble just from the side of the fans and how a lot of the, the, one, the major voices out there were really harsh on this, you know, miniseries before, before it became the phenomenon that we enjoy now. And I'm not calling anyone out to come out and say, oh yeah, I was wrong. If they want to, cool. I just think it's funny how now looking back six episodes that have passed and how the tune has changed. How now you can't help but be hop on the train because that's what the world is talking about. So I don't care whether what you felt about it, whether you liked Vision and Wanda, whether you thought they were a good couple, whether you followed the comic books or not, whatever your opinion was, and if you were one of these channels and or, or, or not even just, I wanna just call channel, any people that had that, kind of, of of a mindset before and a single episode dropped i un i would understand if a episode dropped then you had a negative remark but the fact that since episode one it's been like just a a, a swell good episode after good episode after good episode yeah there's been a couple not so great ones but some that have been fillers i would say i wouldn't say not even so great they've all been great They've just hit on a different note, not suitable for everyone. And you even still see it now, given the popularity of these shows, how I can't believe there's fans that are writing into Marvel upset and Disney upset a lot of more people to Disney, like I guess putting pressure on Disney would then put pressure on Marvel 
that they are upset that they're releasing it this kind of style. And I think this is coming from a lot of these voices that we hear. I'm not, um, again, this is all speculation. I'm just saying it's speculative. But the fact that a lot of these, uh, and my, my channel the same way, I review movies and TV shows. And having, if you had a, a mini series come out like they do in Amazon or other streaming service where they give you the whole thing and you could kind of watch it on your own term. Having this network kind of release to it uh, is bothering a lot of people. But the fact that the numbers show it's a success, the anticipation every week, the conversations every week, the, the videos, the talking at work there. I mean, just go to work and say, hey, do you know about the uh, the show WandaVision? And, and you'll see the response. Oh, yeah, I love that show. I mean, it's just everywhere. And it, I'm, I'm happy to see that uh, as a fan. It's just going to continue the groundswell as far and give, hopefully, uh, Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige a little bit more of that boldness to continue on in this path of experimenting with new things. As I stated earlier, there wasn't from, from the culture, and I'm, I, should, I should have said that, from the culture, there was, I don't know if it was 50-50 split, but there was definitely the loudest voices had a negative tone to say about this movie, but given the actual results, I hope this emboldens Marvel and Kevin Feige to continue and give us some amazing projects that are gonna lead to exactly what this is leading to. The emotions, the storytelling, great acting. I mean, we're getting the complete package and who would have thought it would have came from Marvel Studios, right? We would have thought so many, you know, so many other directors. I mean, I know it's Marvel Studios, but, and there's multitude of directors and, and people in there, but who would have thought, right? You know, the part that I'm saying, the most, not surprising, but that we're getting this kind of storytelling from Marvel Studios, a comic book uh, based company, basically, and the storytelling that they are giving us and the way they're drawing out the emotions in how they did in episode six with her, with her crying, the way she told us how. I don't know how I did it. I, I only remember feeling completely alone. Empty and alone she was, how that drove, I think that episode six solidified this as, as, as what it has become. It resonated with so many people, whether it was love life, loss and tragedy, you know, loss of life, a loved one, whatever. When she said those phrases, when she was talking to her brother in town square in the carnival, when he asked, like, how did you even do this? And not the whole speech, just the first part of her loneliness speaks so much to it resonated like, a, you know, throughout the world, I think. And how, how can I prove this? Look at, just, just look at how much fan art, how many YouTubes popped up and have that scene at its core as, as a form of storytelling in whatever resonated with them. And that's how you know you created a cultural, uh, something that is deeper than just a show. You know, the fan art that I have seen, again, the videos, just the TikToks, the people with the makeup now, tutorials, the way that, that they have embraced Wanda, Wanda and Vision together as a couple. And now along with great acting and a studio that fully is visualizing their idea. I've said it before and I'll say it again and again. The show needs to win so many awards. I don't know where it's going to land, whether it's going to be Oscars or Emmys or wherever, but wherever it enters, it has to win. The first three episodes with the sitcoms were brilliant. We're talking about acting at its highest peak and the demand to act in different styles from different eras of different actresses and the way they pulled it off is it should be... I'm not saying, I don't want to go overboard and say that was groundbreaking. It's when Hollywood is getting it right. And maybe not Hollywood, 
Maybe it's how Hollywood should be getting it right through Marvel Studios. But those first three episodes were nothing but a masterpiece. Brilliant. And I don't know, I think some of them you enter by episode and some you enter the whole thing as a project. You could enter those three episodes and they'll probably go up against each other so only one will win. But anyone, pick one. Pick one of those, any one of those three episodes and they are flawlessly executed, brilliantly shot, cinematography, the score, the music, anything. I don't care what you have. There's no nitpicking about those first three episodes. Those first three episodes led to the excitement that you know we're obviously all experienced and benefited from but episode six was the one that solidified it because again that line that i'm gonna keep that i said earlier that she said you know after her brother asked her you know how did you do this that line about her loneliness and the way it resonated it resonated with me overall the season the way it's kept us on edge yes it's, there's been some reveals uh, you know, like her brother you know, and the theories that that spun off about whether it's coming from the X-Men series or not, whether it's just a recasting of her brother. It's, I know some people that are just watching it because the actor was in other shows that they like American Horror Story and they jumped in there because he was in that. So all of a sudden the fan base has grown because of his celebrity from a different show again whatever side you land on you guys i've already said my opinion i just think it's a recasting so we'll see maybe today when the episode gets released whether i'm wrong so we've seen obviously that remains to be if it's going to be a huge reveal or if it's just a, a minor recasting like they and they're playing like they're poking fun at it as they used to recast all the time in the 70s 80s and 90s and there's been great reveals, right, that have kept us going, like the film footage, Wanda going in and stealing. Supposedly, we're waiting for a huge payoff on if they're going to show us that scene in real life. I mean, just so many yet to be revealed things or questions that we have that in and we only have three more episodes to go so i expect the last three episodes gonna be so action-packed they're gonna be so fast-paced i think they're all still like 35 minutes to 40 minutes they're not an hour long as people were predicting i've heard i heard early on that oh it's too confusing we don't know what's going on but now we don't have none of that confusion now everybody's okay doesn't remember that confusion oh you know I, I can't understand it but the way they presented it the way they've kept us in the dark the way every channel not just big ones small ones every channel every person everyone has a opinion and it differs oh no well i saw this there's no one concur unless you're sworn to secrecy even though with the amount of leaks that are happening maybe there is no secrecy and marvel just plays this to their advantage and uses our imagination to their advantage so maybe that is the bigger thing we should be focusing on but i'm not complaining because the way they did it it led to all this great conversation that we have it and one thing you have to have to have a successful whatever is conversation about it in this day and age and the fact that it's the number one show in the world not just in like america and in, in europe it speaks volume to the production to the crew to marvel studios to the actors so i'm paying homage to what they have done and what yet they have to show and not just marvel studios but this series whether this is the end of the miniseries, if it was just a one-time mini, uh, one-time season one kind of a thing, and that's it, I'm okay with it if they continue it. But I'm excited to see where it it heads to as far as Wanda as WandaVision. My hats off to everyone, including the stars of the show, the writers, extras. Again, you had a hand in this in this show. Thank you so much for for producing such a masterpiece that has in, in this day and age and what's going on in the real world has been a welcome release for not just us here in America, but for the world. And I hope that continues and, and we start having just better and better weeks ahead for all of us. So with that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying this show as much 
as I am. And, you know, roast me in the comments if you want. Am I a homer? Am I rooting too hard for Marvel Studios? Uh, am I going to, you know, fanboy with this? You know, it's it's the conversation is awesome. So let's have it. This show's amazing. So with that said, I hope you guys all have a great night. Enjoy the show. It is as of this recording, it's 5 p.m. So we're only about seven hours away from Disney Plus uploading that episode or releasing that episode for all of us to enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoyed right alongside me because I'll be watching it tonight. Thank you all for listening. And that's a wrap.